My first guest is a legend who's still going strong at 82. He's got a unique sound which brings together jazz, funk, and traditional Camer Cameroonian music. His 1972 single, Soul Makasa, was quite a hit and remains so even today. He's met or collaborated with some of the world's biggest names, and we'll hear all about all of them in a second. The great Manu Dibango is in Kenya performing at the Koroga Festival this Sunday, and he has come here. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, and thank you to receive me. Thank you so much <laughs> for coming on. Well, well, they invite me like they invite me to this festival. And uh, when I'm free, I'm uh, happy you came. to do that. And it is not your first time in Kenya? No, I must say that uh, uh, I was here 20 years before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty long time. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy for this uh, festival and uh, be back in your lovely country. We are very happy to have you. Unfortunately, you're coming to Koroga and the great Papa Wemba also performed yeah. at Koroga Festival. We lost him a few, ye a few weeks back. Well, uh, uh, Papa Wemba, I know the man for a long time. I mean, we we played together in uh, many occasions. We did television because a uh, long time ago I had a, a TV show in France. I received him. I have uh, a radio show in France. I received him many, many times. And uh, we had award, Guinness Award together in Cameroon. All right. A few times ago. And what is funny, I don't know if that's funny, but Last week, I was playing in London. Mm -hmm. When I arrived in London, uh, just Prince died. Passed yes, away. Prince died, yes. yes. And when I get back to Sunday to have a train to go to Paris, brrr, Papa Wemba. Oh, dear. At the same week. Mm -hmm. And uh, you had, uh, how you call that man, Paul? Billy Paul. Billy Paul. Yes. That's three at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's horrible. It's but really. That's... What did you think when you had Papa Wemba had died? What was your reaction? Well, normal reaction. I feel very sad because I knew him for, as I say, he was familiar. We did a lot of things together. Funny is uh, when I start to play music in Kinshasa mm -hmm. in the early 60s mm -hmm. with African jazz and mm -hmm. Cabasele and Franco and Rochereau, <laughs> that time. See? Yes. Uh, he, he just started. He was very young compared mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, he, he was 66. I'm 82. You see? Difference. Yes. <laughs> so I know him from that time up to last week and... Mm -hmm. uh, well, we, we, we lose somebody important in Africa. Absolutely. We have lost a legend. Yes. But we are happy to have you, and we are happy that you look very well. You don't look 82. Well, you look it looks very like, strong. It looks like. It looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the inside. The outside is okay. <laughs> what do you eat? How do you stay so strong? Like you, man. <laughs> no more, no less. <laughs> I'm a normal man, in fact. <laughs> I'm lucky, mm -hmm. just lucky to be able to perform, I mean, to continue mm -hmm. and uh, to follow my passion. Uh, uh, talking by passion, the guy who was... The, the poet. Yes, uh, really, I mean, you must memorize all that. Yes. A lot of work. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Congratulations. Eh? Well done to Virus Mbaye. Yes. He uh, is amazing. Uh, surprised me. It looks like he was uh, got some problem with politician. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's, he is telling the politician not to give him money, uh, but to empower him. Uh, money and uh, music. Eh? Yes. Uh, always a big fight. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something, Manu. You started composing music and performing when you were very young. Yes. Why did you decide? Why did you get into music? Well, that's a problem. I, I meet the music and uh, we meet together. <laughs> I mean, I mean that uh, you can't be born musician or you become a musician. Uh -huh. In my case, I think that I'm a born musician because mm -hmm. uh, because I always, as I have a souvenir in my life, I always love the music. Uh, now, it's not because you are a music lover that you can't become a professional and 
eventually mm -hmm. famous. Huh? Yes. A lot of things happen in between. Um, it's a big fight. Mm -hmm. And so you, are, you must be a good fighter. Huh? Because there's uh, many, so many, 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 many good musicians all over the world. Mm -hmm. But you say, okay, I'm, I'm going to take my chance. That is no more, no less. I, take, I took my chance. Of course, my parents, they, they, they were not very happy. Why? Huh? Because uh, they sent me in Europe to do serious <laughs> study. <laughs> what did you go to study in Europe? Well, maybe to be lawyer or doctor yes. or something like that. And I only chose your music. The music in Africa, everybody can play, you see? Everybody can dance and so far. So uh, it was not uh, easy for them. And uh, it was up to me to make them happy. But in the middle of doing music, you have met many great people. Yes. Like who? Oh, a lot of uh, politicians, a lot of artists, uh -huh. uh, more. Uh, in a different angle, I meet a lot of important people mm -hmm. in my life, you mm -hmm. see. And uh, not only musicians, but men doing uh, uh, come on, doctors. Right. Uh, I like very much and I respect very much. People take care of the older people. You also met uh, Kenya's first president. Yeah, Jomo that's a, well, uh, I didn't meet, but he was uh, in my generation. Right. He was really a hero for mm -hmm. us because we are the children of before independences. You cannot say uh, in your generation, <laughs> you don't know about that. Of course. So he was one of really big African coming from your country who mm -hmm. very uh, fi he, he's a commander, uh, guerrier, guerrier, warrior. Mm -hmm. He's a warrior. Yeah, a warrior for the independence. Mm -hmm. And to us at that time in the be, 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 uh, in the 50s, mm -hmm. between the 50s and the beginning of 60s, mm -hmm. He was really important man before Mandela, long time before Mandela. Right. And all people of my generation, English speaking, French speaking, Spanish speaking, we, did, we, 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 we were uh, admiration to him. You admired Jomo Kenyatta? Yes, yes, yes. Is Cameroon, up to now. Huh? Up to now mm -hmm. Is Cameroon similar to Kenya? Do you have tribalism? All over Africa. All over the world, in fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, in France, there are a lot of tribalists with mm -hmm. England, uh, everywhere, because that's the human being. You don't, you don't support the other coming and it looks a little bit different from you. Uh, that's why uh, life, human being, is important because we have brain, we can sing. We are not like a normal animal. Mm -hmm. We must fight against all that. And, uh, being together is a focus, is everyday fighting. Mm -hmm. In your country, in my country, in Africa, uh, is uh, the la plus grande um, chose important in life is to fight against that. All right. Did you ever meet the great Michael Jackson? Did you ever run into him? Anyway? When I met him, he was not yet great. <laughs> he was, <laughs> he, he was four, four or five years with uh, Jackson 5. Oh, yes, the Jackson 5. <laughs> yeah, four, before he had a solo career. Yeah, uh, you must uh, put uh, things at the, the, the level. <laughs> uh, and when I played for the first time in Apollo, mm -hmm. it was in 1973. At the Apollo Theater? Yeah, I did 10 days b b b because of uh, Mamako Mamasa. And that was a year after it came out, right? That yeah, was just yeah, one year yeah. After. I played with the Temptation, uh, people like that. Mm -hmm. And I spent two years in America with this song. Mm -hmm. He was very young. Later on in the 80s, he came with um, Quincy Jones, arranger. Right. And uh, it looks like they like the song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like they were listening what we're doing also. Oh, wow. So he picked up the song in his own way, thank him. Mm -hmm. 
and after that you see uh, lawyer and so forth. But this is not really important. What is important is that American people, they start to listening African people. Yes. That's the most important. Mm -hmm. In your entire career, what is your most favorite memory? What is it you remember very fondly or a highlight of your whole career? What uh, I, I survive. <laughs> you positive, positive, negative way, but I survive. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm here tonight to, to, to talk with you and uh, uh, avec the million of people uh -huh. listening to your show. So the most important to me is really to survive and uh, to continue. Uh -huh. It is not all the people you have met. You met Hugh Masekela. He's a good friend of mine mm -hmm. up to now. We used to play in France, in Europe, and uh, I knew him when he was, well, he's a guy I knew before because he's a horn player yes. like me. Yes. So uh, he was living in, Lo in uh, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. When I came, we saw Makosa, and he come to New York and we spent a lot of time together. And up to now, is somebody at uh, beaucoup d'admiration pour Hugh Masekela, a specific oui. guy for me. <laughs> All right. So, who is your favorite musician? Ooh, not only one. <laughs> not only one. Who are your favorite musicians? No, they are going from uh, Hugh to Count Basie to Sonny Rollins to people mm -hmm. like that, or Richard Bonin, the best player. Mm -hmm. There are many, and many, and that's good because you have choice. Uh, there's a lot of good musicians coming from Africa, coming mm -hmm. from everywhere. Classical music, also people like uh, Rachmaninoff, people like uh, Mozart, and oh. so far. Yeah, yeah, I great, mean, great serious guy. music. What do you advise young people who want to go into music? Well, they must be hard worker. You must work because if you are naturally gift, which is good, thanks, law first but when you have 15 it's okay when you are 30 the other coming when you are 40 and you don't uh, practice the music seriously as prof you are you are going to be in pro mm -hmm. and also for yourself for your own culture it's better to really learn I don't know a doctor who never go to school absolutely <laughs> so really and uh, Remember one thing, you are always behind the music. You're not in front of music. So you are chasing. Mm -hmm. I know here you are a lot of marathonian. Yes, so we have very you, good marathoners yeah, in the world. Yeah, the best in Africa. So try to be a marathonian in your uh, music. I mean, work <laughs> hard. Because those people are working hard to, to make it, you see? So is your secret of staying so long in music, the fact that you work hard, or were you lucky? That's a combination. <laughs> <laughs> but first, we are, you, are, you are must be, you must have a passion. And then you know that you are lucky in that way, because mm -hmm. a lot of people, they, they live without passion in life. They, know, they don't know what they are here for. You know at least. So you can suffer for that. And uh, after that, you must work to, to maintain your level. Yes. Always. That's why I say that it's like marathonian, because there are uh, good training. All, way, all day training is like in music, all day training. Mm -hmm. And, come on, this uh, humility also. Uh, you must be humble? Yes. Of course, All right. because before you, there were so many, and after you, there, there will be many more. Yeah. As an elder, do you use modern technology? Do you use a mobile phone? Do you email? Are you on WhatsApp, or do you go on Twitter? No, I use what is necessary for me. And what is that? My head. <laughs> <laughs> because... You make all those with your hand. Yes. I mean, this brain mm -hmm. to bring uh, computer and so far. If you are not a good uh, composer, yes. the computer is not going to help you. 
<laughs> but now people are becoming musicians yes. when they're composed entirely on the computer. Well, well, we call that Kleenex music. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to that one nonsense, you forget that. Yes. There are a lot of people doing that. Music is the door, next door. Mm -hmm. But they are doing sound. Yes. But not music. They're doing sound. Sound. Not music. Yeah. Well, so. what, do, what do you consider good music? What is not bad? <laughs> <laughs> to my, I mean, you sit down, you write something, people they, they analyze, they come to see you and they follow what you are doing. Mm -hmm. Now you have only dance music, which is good also. I don't say that, that is bad, but I say that that's two different things. You cannot say that you are a musician, you, know, you don't know where the C is, you don't know where the B flat is, mm -hmm. the machine is doing that for you. Yes. Well, that's good. Uh, but a good musician can go and uh, um, with uh, those computers, when you are a really good musician, then something new can happen yes. with that, really, deep. Okay. Deep. All right, finally, what is your secret to performing when you go on stage? Mm -hmm. What do you do to make sure you keep the crowd engaged? And First, we rehearse a lot. You rehearse with, a lot? Yeah, hey, with the band. You mm -hmm. must know um, what you are going to offer to the people. And uh, in between, you can improvise. The best improvisation is because you know what, where you are going. Right. You don't know exactly the way, but you know the beginning and the, the end. end. In between, try to make people happy. <laughs> Fantastic. This is solid advice. Thank you so much. Let me see if they are saying something on Twitter. Ah. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Well, You're saying you use your head. Yeah, my head and my ears. <laughs> but on Twitter, they have some comments. And Kristen is here with that, Kristen. Yes, I know you touched on this earlier, on how he's aging so gracefully. Yes. But so many people are asking, what's his secret? The first one is Nderitu Muridi, who says, this man looks old but energetic. Could you tell us the secret of aging healthy? Leave it just there for the moment. They want to know the secret of staying so healthy. You say, they say you're aging very well. Yes, well... <laughs> if I give my secret, is is not any more a secret. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Like come <laughs> no, I'm just. But uh, what do you eat or what don't you eat? Do you exercise? Some of the tips. I said before <laughs> that I'm a normal people uh, man because I don't do things like. Uh, this, this, this. You're I, in Paris. Do you go to McDonald's? I don't, I don't drink or so do much. Or you eat only salad? No, I do, no, no, no. I do. I, I, I eat everything. Most in my house, African food. Oh, fantastic. First, I have a common cuisinier yeah, in my. Oh, you've got a chef. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming from Senegal. Ah, excellent. And uh, she, she make, uh, she makes me happy, uh, for the food. Mm -hmm. I lot uh, really. Jollof rice. Rice, beans, uh, 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 yam. Yam. Lot of yam. Mm -hmm. uh, lot of cassava. Mm -hmm. Cassava. Uh huh. Uh, we say we say manioc in uh, the, the other side, mm -hmm. but it's, it's the same stuff. Oh, right? fantastic! And uh, that's it. Potatoes. Potatoes. Okay, you've got the secret to staying young, people. What else is there, Kristen? Yes, uh, Trico M. Link says, Manu Dibango, a wise and humble musician, mm -hmm. humble enough to learn despite being a maestro. Absolutely, well We've done. got Arnold here who says, the land of Cameroon has a demeanor as cool as his music. I absolutely agreed. And Thomas says, when I grow up, I want to be like Manu Dibango, young and energetic at 82. <laughs> the one? When he grows up, yes. he wants to be like you. Well, it's not late, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but take time. Take time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Be like you are, mm -hmm. and uh, well, oh, and be happy. And be happy in, in what you are doing or trying to do. Be mm -hmm. happy. Good advice. What else is there, Kristen? Yeah, we have the last one here. Comparison uh, from Charles Ware, who says Manu takes after the great Papa Wemba, living music. Legends. Living oh, music le legend. Yeah. I agree. Do you consider yourself a legend? Oh, no. I'm just a musician. Come on. 
No, pe no I mean, people, they, they see you a uh, different way than yes. you see yourself. Mm -hmm. Uh, because uh, there's so many good musicians in life, you see. And you, you don't play music or you don't do the music to be a legend. Yes. You play music because you are in love with, you know, with music. And people decide. It's like a hit. Uh, I was talking with many uh, uh, journalists huh, about a hit. Yes. You don't sit down and you say, I'm going to write a hit. No. Mm -hmm. You propose a lot of uh, music and people decide yes. one time that this is a song. It's not you. Absolutely. That's the hit. And the, the magic of the hit, hello. <laughs> this is the great Massima Sika is a manga. She's a very lovely singer. Uh, okay, so I, I caught it. Uh, uh, and um, well, it's a fairy tale. Mm -hmm. People decide, and the, the the thing is like all over the world. At the same time, people decide that that's a hit. That's it. Fantastic, Manu Di Bango. Thank you so much for thank coming you. to the show, and have a great performance on Sunday. You'll be there. I will come to watch you. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> He's also funny. He's hysterical. <laughs> Catch Manu Dibango on Sunday at the Koroga Festival. 